on this fashionable episode of the NES Pursuit. It's good, because if you don't rewind it, they charge you for that. Yeah. The boys go down the dark wormhole of VHS history. You know it's a dark story. Ricky finds the toys his Mario Shrine needs in order to fill all his empty spaces. They're part of the chess piece. Riff pulls a fast one and snags some shiny books the whole squad was drooling over. Guys, film, because I was holding the camera, and I see Gabbo. Look over. What happens when Gabbo the Giver gives the gift of foolishness. I don't know if I ever told you that I'm gobble the Hold on to your tutu and prepare for accent massacres, horror lore, father-son bonding, risky bartering, and epic nostalgia. This is the NES Pursuit. Swap meet super early in the morning and this feels good. We are at episode 99. We're almost to 100 and we got Brixton going with us, my son. Now you're far of the squad. We're with Gabo, little Brixton, and Riff. It's gonna be a wonderful day at the swap meet. As the sound breaks above the ground, I almost stand on the hill. So it's a beautiful day, not that cold, not that hot. I don't know if I ever told you that I love the weather here. Whatever, it is what it whatever, is. Whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. Whatever. Whatever. So we're excited. We're heading out. Gabo, Ricky, I, and Bricks. What a day. Episode 99. Let's go. I'm in pursuit. So the first thing that I want to pick up, I see in the corner of this bin when we're looking around. All right, so this place is everything a dollar, but the reason I want this, and do you know why I want this version? This VHS Wizard of Oz is this Wizard of Oz VHS. And I think that's not that big of a deal. I know that's not exciting. It's time to see if the legend is true of the hanging munchkin. But if you know the story behind the Wizard of Oz old movie releases, you know it's a dark story. Supposedly, if you look in the background, which I've seen clips of on YouTube, but I've never owned a VHS myself, you can see one of the munchkins who hung himself and killed himself swinging in between the trees. And it's only in the VHS version. Really? When they did a re-release of it and they put the movie back out on like updated versions of VHS and DVD and Blu-ray. Now the company who made The Wizard of Oz tried to cover it up and say that it was actually just a bird. But people are saying, and a lot of people said that it's actually one of the munchkins that hung themselves. If it was just a bird, why would they take it out? If it was really a bird, they would have left it in. They know something was going on and there must have been something deeper and darker. So I'm picking up Wizard of Oz on VHS for one dollar. Now I get to find out for myself if it's true. The story holds. <laughs> you always talking. Shut up. What's it feel like to be part of the squad? Good. Brixton's always been a part of the squad, right? Yeah. Now you're part of the squad. So the first thing that I found was uh, for the Xbox 360, the Wanted game. So I got this game. I used I used to play this back in the days. I never finished it. It's from the movie. I love that movie, it's pretty good. And the game is pretty good too. I don't know if I ever told you that I love that movie. It was five bucks and main condition. Third person action game, it's pretty good. Ah, five bucks. It is what it is. Ah, grab it. Look at me, I'm hunting. 
Uh, immediately, I was like, wow, this is a Game Chasers ripoff. It's time to go hunting for games. I know, he's stupid. Go up to a booth, same booth, I go around with bricks and we start looking through the toys and I just find all these little Mario figurines. They're, you know what they are, right? They're it's part of the chess right piece. Here, right? Yeah, yeah, not that. And okay. then they're, they're the little chess pieces. Like, I think there's a Mario chess piece thing, but it was missing everything else. I just wanted the figures for my Mario shelf. So, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I started picking at all these figures, started finding all these little figures I didn't have, so I guess I will. I asked the guy how much, he's like, 10 bucks. I think that was like eight figures. I'm like, a dollar ten for each figure. I'm like, it's good, it's good enough, it's good enough. Dude, just a bunch of little figures. Most of them are just like from a chess piece. But the chess piece is like 30 bucks, so it's like, if I can get each one just for the Mario shelf, I'm good. You want it? Do you want it, Rickson? You no, want it? Do you want it, though? You're not supposed to put your hand out. <laughs> now you have of the squat. He's definitely my favorite person in the squat. It's true. Is it episode 100 yet where it's just Ricky and I on the show? He's already rewinded. It's good because if you don't rewind it, they charge you for that. Yeah. Children of the day. Dude, I don't know how the Puerto Rican one went, but the American one didn't go in nothing like that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You still think you're American? No, I'm not Dude, American. Dude, you're Mexican. I guess. We're walking around and I'm like, I see something in the corner of this booth. So I'm like, <laughs> guys, film, because I was holding the camera. And I see Gabo, look Jeez. over. Look at these things I just found. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time books? Pretty cool, bro. Part one, part two. <laughs> on this table, right on the edge, was two Zelda Ocarina of Time books. I've never seen these before. Now they're in like a Japanese style where you read them backwards. I've never seen this before and I don't know about it, obviously. Yeah, 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 you read it backwards. That's one thing I do now, see? But they're all in English, which I didn't realize till after we left. But that's, uh, this is interesting. How much are these little books? But I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh my gosh, I never see these. And the best thing that's cool with these is part one's there and part two, so it's a complete little set. Yeah, I don't know much about these, but these are the kind of books that I just would love to have on display. Uh, looks like the art is by Akira Himakawa. And I'm getting them for a cheap price. The lady said eight bucks, which I was actually okay with paying, but as you know. Eight dollars for both. Eight for both? Yeah. If you were a swap meat person, you gotta ask something lower just to do your duty. So I say seven bucks. Would you do seven? Seven? I get them. And I got these books. I'm gonna go home and read and be knowledgeable. And I'm gonna hang with friends I know and blow a reading rate. You know who should who could learn to use to learn English? Oh hey Gabo. Look at this. Look at the color. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Literally. Gabo is a magical, sentient being. And what I love about it is the front covers on part one, Link looks all young and innocent and pure as he was. And then part two, Link, not gonna lie, I was a little bummed out that I didn't find those Zelda books before Rift. I don't know which one I like better, the, the happy, cute Link, or I'm gonna kill you, Link. He's seen things, he's got his master sword, he's been through the ringer. Mm -hmm. 
music when you go in the thingy mabobber mabobber majogger? We caught you almost getting it, but I wish you had a good, got a good deal because you're my friend and we care about each other on this show. And actually, they got that that that, that new person who's actually he's pretty handsome too. I met him in uh, I think probably SoCal. I don't care if he's the giver. <laughs> I'm the taker. This uh, Decepticon belt buckle, or is it Not Autobots? So yeah, we was walking around and we found the Gumby's Hobby uh, boot. Uh, the guys already told me he's a nice guy and they have a lot of stuff. Hi, oh, let's go. Oh, Hi, yeah, oh, let's go. And the first thing that caught my eye, caught, yeah, like grabbed my eye, uh, you know, like. <laughs> Like the first thing that I see. There's so many times Ricky and I are, are filming a show where we look at each other like, Mr. Bob, Dior is already rewinded. Big Master Chief Hermit, what is my deal? Third person, gay, tall, knee, boot. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you that I collect pops too, but I'm not like Mikey. Mikey collect every pops in the universe. I just call it random. How much? Ah, I really like the Ramones. For me, it's part of my life. Well, I don't know if I ever told you the Ramones is one of my favorite punk band. Bubblegum punk band. I listened to to the Ramones since I, since I born. And I was looking for this pop for a long time. Now I, I just need Didi. Thank Gumby. You are awesome. You bought this for me? With your money? With uh, just one? A N64 controller keychain? You bought this with your money? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. What is it? Now you found this one. Yeah, you have that one. No, I don't have this one. I know. This is a Famicom NES controller. And you bought it for me with your money. That's what you wanted to do with your money is buy your dad something? I don't know how much. Kiss, 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 kiss. You've been hanging out with Gabo too much wanting to get Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, I got something for you too. Look at me, I'm the giver. <laughs> because I know you love this so much. There you go. Fortnite is trash. Enjoy it. You bought me a trash bag. So we pull up to another booth. I'm looking at a Resident Evil game. I mean, I heard this game, this, one, this one's terrible. Wait, but... wait, 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 wait. To be honest, it's not that bad. It's not bad? No. I never played it because, honestly, I'm kind of bummed that I took other people's advice and not got, I didn't get Raccoon City. If you don't want it, I can grab it. How much? 10 bucks. But Gabo's like, dude, you should get it. It's actually a good game. You can't say that you don't like it unless you try it, and which is true. Operation Raccoon City, it, it didn't get the best reviews, but everybody hates this game. So I bought it so I can try it, but I only bought it because it's also a special edition. For, I don't know, 10 bucks, it worked it. Special edition, and it's... And I love those steel books. Something about the steel on any book, or case, sorry. Seven bucks. I'll take it. You want a shoe shine? Get it up here. <laughs> From my angle. I feel bad for anybody whose first time is watching the show. It is. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you. I like Batman. How 
bigger than my dad's poop. Now the bottom is what? What? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What's <laughs> wrong? He always denies it. But he knows who the true Street Fighter champ is. Now you're part of the squad. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, nice. As you know, if you've watched the show, I love apparel. I love clothing. I love fashion. I will say it. We're in this store right now, this t-shirt clothing apparel store, but they have a lot of good video game stuff, and I feel like I have to buy something here. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna buy something. And whenever I see these booths, I always say this is a hidden gem inside of swap meets. <laughs> Something that people aren't looking at near enough is video game related clothing. These places sell shirts for like $8 that are normally like $25 at the store. They're selling sweaters for 20 bucks that are normally like $45, $50 sweatshirts. So we were just like walking around to Swamp Me and I spotted an awesome PS4 Japan sweater. Ah. Kevin has that one. Yeah. And I'm looking and I see Brixton put on a little sweatshirt his size and I'm like, oh. Ah, it's a, looks like a neon retro look, okay? I like my sweatshirts a little big, so I got a large, because I gotta go big for sweaters. I like to be like, I got this for 20 bucks. So me and Brixton are gonna get the exact same jackets and be like a father-son duo. Now we, I can get that too. Now you're far of the squad. Hey, Bri oh. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's retro looking, it's warm. And I like how it has 94. It's comfy cozy, and it's good for lovely weather and a sleigh ride together with me. Wow. <laughs> he likes my YouTube. I love this kid. This kid is awesome. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the day. I'm starving. I need to put some food here. So that was the end of the day here at the Golden West Swap Meet. We had a good time, nothing too crazy, although I am very happy to find out about the Wizard of Oz. Also loving my Zelda books. Just happy to hang out and excited for the next episode, 100 episodes of the NES Pursuit. This morning I got a notification on Facebook. Oh, this is a memory from one year. And actually, exactly on this day, one year ago, I met that guy behind the camera. I met Gabo one year ago today. Sergeant Pepper told the band to play. No, it's cool. I met Gabo one year ago today and now he's a fi and he's wearing a shirt. What how ironic. Now you are far up the squat one year later. Welcome in Gabo officially as a lifelong member. Everyone likes him too much. No 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 I don't wanna do it. Oh, oh no. No, no when you fart it's a brown noise, I make a white noise. <laughs> <laughs> our, our life sucks. We wanna be you. You like riff better? Nice. Feel this. If I slapped you back, I'd go to jail. <laughs> Come here. I'm leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. Bye, Ricky. You suck. Brixton, do you like Fortnite? No. Good. Good man. Well, that's a game changer thing. You caught me slipping, is what they say. But since we are the Disney version. Oh, we caught you sleeping. You're sleeping. <laughs> I'm surprised people watch this show because, man, we are dumb. We're really dumb. Bye. Why don't you guys remind Gabba who won the, who won the last round of Street Fighter? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you're far of a nipple. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna do something on me. I don't even know where that stick's been. It's probably been peed on. <laughs> Never mix our show with Fortnite that way again. It is what it is. <laughs> well, it's, a, Open. it's a lit Fortnite bag. Flossing all the time, dab on the haters. Looks like it, his mustache has messed up. <laughs> I got Lumberjack Bob from my favorite season of Fortnite, Seven. Are you crazy? Look it, at was, it was better than the picture. That was a good slap, Brixton. I'm so proud. Look at this. Yeah, it's real. Whoa. Yeah. Look at me, I'm constructing walls. Nice. Flash then. Nice. It's a brand new language. We're trying to build up an epic fake moment for the show. Fly on your way like an eagle. I gotta be honest, it stinks out here. Are you part of the squad? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! 
now I hate you. I can read them. Bad work. What? Fix it up. What did I tell you about learning? Never learn anything. Scooby Dooey Doo! -doo. Oh my gosh! Anything in the boxes, already. <laughs> you scared me. I used to love Iron Maiden. The <laughs> gavel's ruining it for me. <laughs> I'm behind you, Ricky. Why is it wet on my side? <laughs> None of that new junk Fortnite. Oh, yeah. you got Look at me, I'm driving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that will give her a <laughs> Hey, let's go.